Hey, Ben Bloodworth with River's Edge West here. Uh, we're out here today on the river looking to see if we can find kind of effects, uh, impacts that the beetle have had on the tamarisk here over the years. Uh, if you are wondering about the beetle and what exactly it is we're talking about, you can go back and check out our previous webinar that's uh, recorded and on the website. And you'll learn about where the beetle moves and a little of what it does. Uh, but our upcoming webinar on June 9th is really going to get into the effects of the beetle, what they have on the trees themselves, on the environment, uh, potentially uh, interactive effects they have with other species. Uh, so what we're looking for is things like uh, this here, this behind me, which we see as branch dieback. Uh, now we know that this was caused by the beetles to some extent because we know the beetles were here before. Uh, referring back to another video, you can check out how to actually sweep net and do beetle monitoring on your own. And we did that video on this tree with beetles on it. So we know that beetles have been here and have had this effect. Uh, but we also see that the tree is greening up again. And uh, if you look at the top around the corner, and we'll get to it on another tree later, you'll see some little pink flowers starting back up. Uh, so this tree looks reasonably healthy, even though the beetle has been on it. All right, so here we have an example of a tree that has been defoliated because we've seen it here in the valley. This entire shoreline has been completely browned out by beetles, uh, but you can see that it's fully recovering, uh, flowering, ready to send out millions of seeds into the environment from this one tree. And one reason that may be, uh, could be where it is. If you look immediately behind us is the Colorado River. And we will talk about some of the effects that the beetle has and some of those interactions with why this tree may not be dying as quickly as one might expect. So many times after a beetle defoliates and the plant regrows, uh, it does it in these kind of puffs that you see. Uh, a lot of people call it poodling because it looks like poodle tails. And you can tell that this tamarisk is growing in a different form. So this has obviously been defoliated by the beetle and is refoliated in this new structure. So join us on June 9th for our upcoming webinar about the beetle and the interactions that it has, not only with the trees, uh, but with things like wildfire, endangered species, and other environmental, large environmental um, effects that the beetle has across the landscape. Thanks much and see you then.